I am Crevain Kestrel, professional paranormal enthusiast. Welcome to my spooky story. <laughs> Kestrel's spooky stories. I have always had an interest in the paranormal because I've always been able to see and feel stuff that other people just can't. In fact, you could call me quite special. They did call me that as a child. In fact, they did think of sending me to a special school. Anyway, one of my earliest paranormal experiences occurred when I was seven years old. It was summertime. My mam were on day release, and my Auntie Alice took us to a flamber head. <laughs> now Schnaff, my Yorkshire Terrier, named after the uh, chucklesome dog out of the uh, Thundercats, uh, were chasing after my frisbee. <laughs> Unfortunately, I threw it off a cliff. I remember watching in horror as Schnaff leapt over the cliff edge and plummeted like a stone through the early morning air. Smashing like a juicy strawberry on the jagged rocks below. Oh, it was terrible. Terrible. Now, me Auntie Alice consoled me with a 69 from the ice cream man. But as we got back to the car, lo and behold, there was me ma'am, with Schnarf cradled in her arms. And as she hurriedly bundled us into the car and quickly drove away, I became aware that Snarf had transformed. Its uh, coat had gone from a light tan to a dark mottled brown and uh, it had grown a winky. It had also changed from a Yorkshire Terrier into a large Rottweiler. But I thank me lucky stars because uh, there'd been another dog reported missing that very same day at Flamberhead. They said it had been stolen by some crazed woman. <laughs> some people, eh? <laughs> anyway, when we got back home, I'd, I thought, um, well, I remember thinking that uh, my zombie dog would uh, crave brains to eat, because that's what zombie dogs eat, isn't it? But uh, we didn't have no brains in our house. So uh, I, f I decided on a, a vegan alternative. Over the years, I grew quite skilled at... Uh, making brains out of corn, But uh, Staff was not interested. Oh no. It, uh, it would rather go outside and uh, tear open the neighbour's cap as if it were a packet of crisps. <laughs> Animals do the funniest things. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh. But uh, as all things must pass, uh, Snarf lived until he died, at the tender age of 14. Oh, I can still remember the day I cradled him in my arms as he, he lay there, his breath becoming laboured, and he tenderly gave my face a farewell bite. Oh, my Auntie Alice came in and she knew he was gone, she could tell by the tears mingling with the blood from my torn lips. <laughs> it was a sad day. A very sad day. <clears throat> but all was not lost, however, because some time later, my Auntie Alice came in with Schnaff, suspended in water. This time, he'd come back as a goldfish. Oh, I knew it was him. Its bulging eyes and fixed expression just could not be mistaken for anything else. And over the years, Schnaff has come back many times, you know, uh, four or five times as a hamster and uh, once as a dagoo, and uh, now he lives quite happily with my Auntie Alice as a, uh, a budgie, a summit. So there you go. That's the story of uh, when my dog died and came back to life. Thanks for listening.